So, hi everyone. I um, am here to kind of have an opportunity to thank the first responders and chat with um, community members and assess the, the devastation that this community has been through in the last 24 hours. I'm joined by Sheriff Fuller, who has briefed me at this Emergency Operations Center, and Senator Sean McCann, as well as uh, a lot of first responders and people who are on the ground doing the work. So, it's um, I'll just share a couple of quick thoughts and then happy to open it up and certainly the Senator and the Sheriff are happy to answer questions too. I uh, feel very lucky that this didn't result in fatalities, but the devastation is real. There are a lot of displaced families, a lot of businesses um, that have been, uh, that are going to struggle because of the wake of this and that's why it was important that we declared the emergency last night so that we can expedite support. State departments are on the ground from transportation, Department of Transportation to the state. So, um, any and all entities that are going to be necessary to help this community get back on, on its feet. But the most inspiring thing is seeing fellow neighbors help one another, listening to the sheriff tell me stories about families that were actually inside homes that were moved off their foundations, um, and, and that families of survival, stories of survival. So. Even in tough times, there's there's inspiration, but we've got a lot of important work to do ahead of us. So that'll open it up. Governor Whitmer, this isn't the first time that we've seen um, a mobile home community decimated after a tornado. We had this in Gaylord just a few years ago. Is there more regulations that can be put in place to keep people safer in these types of situations who live in these communities? Well, one of the interesting things that um, one of the folks from Portage said was that uh, there were fewer homes that were lifted off their foundation because they did uh, begin requiring the use of hurricane strips. I've never even heard the phrase before, but this is apparently an additional safety measure to help keep mobile homes on their foundation. So perhaps as one example of something that a policy that helped perhaps save people's property and, and maybe lives in this moment. But um, certainly I think with climate change, the uh, continuous increase of devastating events like this. Um, we've got to continue to evolve as well as we think about how do we protect one another and how do we combat these impacts of climate change too. Can you talk about the resources the state is making available to try to help people impacted by these storms? So declaring the state of emergency gives us the opportunity to move mobilize resources across state government. Um, obviously we're still in the assessment phase so there's no you know, finite number as to what we think the need will be that will evolve as more information um, comes in and as all of the assessments are done and I'll work with the legislature to make sure that um, we've got the appropriate state support for the community. Governor, you I'm sure saw a bunch of videos and pictures of all the damage last night. How does that compare to seeing it here in person today? I mean, it's, it's just to see trees that are snapped in half and to see on the national news, you know, a, you know, community that's so impacted right here at home, I think is, is eye-opening. Um, you can't walk through here and not understand that. While we feel really lucky that people, you know, people were lost their lives, um, we know that a lot of people lost everything they have. And so it's um, a profound sense of gratitude that everyone's alive, but also lost because some people lost everything. And that's why pulling together and supporting one another is really important. You mentioned climate change. Are weather disasters like this something Michiganders have to be increasingly prepared for? I think so. I think it's undeniable that when you look at from the tornadoes that swept through across I-96 last year or Gaylord or the incredible flooding thing, flooding events that we have swamped our highways and yeah. Ice storms. I mean, we're seeing we're seeing intense impacts from climate change, and so I do think that it's important that we acknowledge that as we try to build out systems that keep us safe here, but also curtail our impact on climate change as well. What do you make of the community response? You've seen people like starting to bring food and other yeah. necessities. You know, does that surprise you at all? Just seeing people coming forward like it that. It doesn't surprise me one iota, but it is always wonderful to see in the wake of a really scary event how communities pull together and I know that Sheriff Fuller and uh, Senator McCann and I were chatting a little bit about how people just started showing up soon as the tornado was gone people whose homes were intact came out to help those whose weren't and um, started within minutes of, of the tornado leaving. 